As always, if your kids are in the room, now is the time to put your earbuds in or leave the room. If you are offended by adult talk, adult themes, nudity, cursing, etc., please take a moment to change the channel. This show is not for you. should make sure to turn the fucking mics on <clears throat> before I start talking. Hey now, we're back. It's been a while since we've done a show. It, there's not a whole lot to talk about in the winter. And if you live in West Michigan anyway, right? So we usually trim the shows back from twice a week to once a week for the winter. And uh, this winter is no exception. There's, there's just nothing to talk about. I mean, there is, but not enough to fill two fucking shows. So... Let's see who is with us tonight. Good evening, Anthony Ledford. Good evening, Delilah. Delilah. Craig Van Dyke. Hey, Jen, you there? Hey, now. Hey, now. You sound so cute. Craig Van Dyke, how are you now? Good and you. Next, he's going to type, not so bad. Good evening, Kyle Spear. Hey, now. All right, huge show tonight, guys. Holy shit. I'm going to have to hold it back. <laughs> No, no, it's, that's okay. We're at, an, we're on, at an off time. So, as you can imagine, I don't know. Normally, we have a whole lot more viewers. Probably not going to be tonight, and that's just okay. Kyle Spear, tell me about your bike like you're laying on the couch. Tell me about, oh, tell me about you, Ray, like you're laying on the couch. Shall we start with my mother, Kyle? Good evening, Donald <laughs> Hammock. <laughs> Uh, it all started with my ma, my fucking ma. Good, <laughs> good evening, Donald Hammock. Good evening, Ed Polensky, Todd Veenstra, David Thompson. Glad to see you guys joining us. And tonight we only have one, uno, new member to join or that joined us to welcome. But first, we got to say hi to Whoopi. How you doing, Whoopi? I'm good. You're coming in a little blurry. I don't know what, I think maybe I needed to clean your camera lens. Oh, that's okay. I'm blurry. I mean, it might be that light you got shining in my face. Which one? The one on the door over there. Wait, over here? No, no, you got to have proper lighting, love. That, that lighting is annoying. No, but your face, your face looks, <laughs> your pissed off face looks awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not pissed off, but that light is rather fucking annoying. Well, I guess that's a hint. We need to talk to our engineer about getting new studio lights, all right? Something. Uh, that engineer would be me. I know. And uh, I'm not buying any more fucking lights. Okay. Who else is with oh, us now? Hey now. Hey now. Sharon Deswan's with us. Hey now. Jody Michael Howie. Good to see you. John Underwood. Hey, love you, John. Good to see you, buddy. Uh, okay. Oh, and Shane Morey from uh, Iron Addiction down in, is that Paw Paw? Kalamazoo, Battle Creek. I don't know. Somewhere <laughs> fucking south. Welcome. Like it's Battle Creek. You feel like it's Battle Creek. Well, welcome, Shane. Good to see you, buddy. So this week's new member, Bob Weiss. Uh, welcome, Bob. Welcome to the family. Hopefully you stick around for more than a minute. We get a lot of this. Uh, folks will log on to the page, and within, uh, I don't know, 90 seconds of looking down the page, you're like, fuck this shit. These guys are crazy. <laughs> or or just a couple minutes of your video. Yeah, watch. Yeah, a few minutes. Good evening, Don Lynn Woodburn. Uh, a few minutes of watching our video is enough to piss off those who are, shall we say, a little more sensitive. If if you uh, have a man pawn, this is not the show for you. And if you're letting your kids watch, fucking shame on you, okay? You might as, <laughs> you're better off taking them in the house and pulling out one of those Johnny Wad pornos and setting them down in front of the TV for that. 
<laughs> watch Shameless with him. Watch Shameless. <laughs> I do. I don't, I don't give a shit what anybody says. Shameless is one of the best shows on television. It is great, but it is absolutely no show for a child. Absolutely fucking not. And that is exactly why I love it. Uh, Shane Morey, Iron Addiction is on a plane well. Okay. Plane well, Michigan. Get in touch with Shane for your powder coating and uh, basic maintenance needs. I don't know. I think he does everything. I'm not really sure. I think so. Good evening, Todd O'Hearn. Good to see you, buddy. Hey, I wasn't too far off. What did you say? Uh, Battle Creek. Battle Creek. It's, I, I, here's here's uh, what an asshole most people from Grand Rapids are, right? If you live in Michigan and you live in Grand Rapids or Detroit, you pretty much think that those are the only two fucking cities in in the southern <laughs> peninsula yeah you do it, it's either oh no that city that's over by detroit or oh no that one grand haven that's over by grand rapids <laughs> good evening heather van timmeren and don lynn woodburn hope everyone had great holidays much love not much of a member but still mad love all the same sweetheart you know you don't have to come out to all of our events to be a member honestly it's it's not a fucking club. It's it's just a group of hey, thir- Todd O'Hearn. 1,350 strangers that all like to talk and shit about motorcycles and occasionally even talk shit about each other. So, <laughs> uh, yeah. A yeah, little? That, that happens. <laughs> so, Bob Weiss, our new member. Hey, buddy, if you are interested in getting your own hooligan swag, here we go with our shameless self-promotion. Uh, if you're interested in getting your own hooligan swag, like the hooligan sweatshirt that i'm wearing here uh you can get hats you can get uh what else we got on that uh on that fucking store whoopie help me out here i don't know you don't... <laughs> jesus christ all right you know what fuck it bob never mind we don't have anything worth buying uh i'm just kidding we got uh sweatshirts t-shirts hats uh backpacks all kinds of stuff anything that says hooligans basically we got the logo on the back. Or you can get your custom stuff, right? Like this one here that uh, uh, Tracy made me. Uh, you can get this stuff in two ways. You can scroll to the top of the page, click on the announcements tab there. You're going to find the Hooligan Store along with our latest podcast. And uh, what else we have on there? Oh, the Mileage Challenge, but we'll get into that later. So you're going to scroll to the top page, page, click on the announcements tab. What the fuck? First day, new tongue. Um... And there you'll find the hooligan store on the hooligan. St- and if you don't want to buy anything on there, you can get in touch with Tracy Burroughs, Marin Tet, and she has all kinds of awesome custom hooligan stuff that you can purchase from her. Okay. 20% of every purchase goes back to the community. That's Jen and I's cut. Uh, Wooby and I get a 20% cut and every penny that we get off it goes back to the community, whether it's a donation to uh, one of the, recipients that we're working with like well right now jen jen is uh trying to put something together sort of loosely okay for a, a woman named danielle acton yeah. she is uh well why don't you tell them about it will be i don't i can shut up for a minute no you're fine you can talk about it it's somebody that we we know that we met <laughs> a couple summers ago um and uh she has a a young son who's disabled, has a lot of um, handicaps, and they're trying to get um, a handicap, a wheelchair accessible van. So she's trying to get that money earned, and I was going to try and put something together and help her out. And I have been working on putting together something for Rhonda Stone, who is a local woman here in West Michigan that is trying to raise her granddaughter who is in need of an operation to walk again. So as you can see, our causes have gotten bigger. Uh, it's it's not like the old days where we just, and this was fun. We used to just go downtown to downtown Grand Rapids, throw out a grill out on the side of the street and start cooking up food for local homeless people. But- uh, Trying to do a little more personal stuff. Yeah, trying to get a little more personal with it. So uh there's where all the money that we make from the hooligan store and and hooligans clothing sales and shit like that goes coming up these are all the events i could find basically up to the baldwin blessing if you don't know what the baldwin blessing is then either a you're not from the michigan indiana ohio area or b you live under a fucking rock 
Um, so coming up on February 2nd, the fourth annual motorcycle swap meet in the Lansing Center in Lansing, Michigan. Admission is $7. That goes from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. Coming up on the 16th of February, Novi Motorcycle Swap Meet at Suburban Collection Showplace, 46100 Grand River Avenue in Novi from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. again. And coming up on April 11th, the Cadillac Motor. Jesus Christ, there's a lot of swap meets. Yeah, we got to be charging these fuckers. <laughs> Cadillac Motorcycle Swap Meet at Wexford Civic County Center, Wexford County Civic Center from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. And then... Uh, this is just for funsies. Coming up on the 25th, the Vermontville Syrup Festival, Vermontville, Michigan. Uh, Jen and I attempted to go to this one year and failed epically uh, because of me. I had a whole goddamn group of us that went to go ride to... They have a huge like motorcycle ride there, and uh, I think I was about two hours late. <laughs> so we ended up missing out on that one. But no it way. is weird. Oh, yeah. My fluid sense of time. Todd O'Hearn says, hey, y'all, Wendy Lee's joined us. Hey, Adam, Wendy. Adam Williams, Mr. Crazy Man. He is crazy. I love that guy. Corey Kelly Merchant joined saint. us. Sharon Lapers with us. Ken Benham's with us. Dawn Lynn Woodburn says, just been a while. Shout up to my, I'm thinking she's saying shout out to my boy Joe 77 rest in peace and my girlfriend's mom today January is a downer just popping in to say hi not much healthier but still kicking warm hugs all right if y'all are praying folks say a prayer for Dawn Lynn Woodburn she's uh, obviously having a fucking time January can be rough if you live in West Michigan we have not seen the sun in eight fucking days <laughs> vitamin D and tanning or vitamin look at me dude I'm white as a sheet this is bullshit. You all can start calling me Casper here pretty quick. I'm not. Uh, also, let's see. What do we got here? Mileage pledge. We haven't gotten a whole lot of participation in that, but the year is young. Okay. So we had a couple people pledge 10,000 miles. Now, for those of you who are just tuning in for the first time or never seen or just stumbling upon this channel or show on YouTube, we are putting together a mileage challenge this year, okay? And it's really, really simple. You pledge the amount of miles that you think you want to ride this year. Like me personally, I pledge 10,000 miles. And I'm going to give a penny for every mile that I pledged, provided that I make my 10,000 miles. So if I make my 10,000 miles this year, on December 1st, we're going to take the final tallies. And uh, if I make my 10,000 miles, I'm donating $100, to one of our charities that we're working with. If I fall short, let's say I only come up with 8,500 miles. Now, instead of giving a penny for every mile that I rode, I have to give a dime for every mile that I fell short. So if it's 1,500 miles I'm short, now I've got to donate 150 bucks uh, to that same charity. So it doesn't really matter what the charity is right we can all those of us who join in it can all get together and, and and present our money together personally jen and i's mileage challenge money will most likely be going to our holiday uh hooligans holiday christmas thing that we do in the winter where we try to support a family that is in need and uh they're in danger of not having a christmas lily's on hey sister lily okay so say hi hi lily hey now um, so my mileage challenge, we got two of them at uh, 10,000. One would be myself and Matt Walter. We each pledged 10,000 miles. So there's minimum of 200 bucks raised next December 1st. David Gray, Brian Rocha, Rick Rocha, and Freddie Peterson each pledged 5,000 miles. So that'll be another, what, one, two, three, four, another 200 bucks. So that's $400 that we're going to have raised next December. Uh, for our Christmas challenge or Christmas charity thing that we're going to do. And Dennis Davis pledged 4,000 miles. So there's another 400. So we have 440 bucks raised toward next Christmas already. That's not bad, considering it's only fucking January, I don't know, 15th or something. Wow. Forgive me. It was a delicious dinner. So, uh, other shit. What did we have? What else did we have here, Whoopi? Hey, here's something interesting. I, I some interesting stuff I found. Uh, a Wall's Midnight Ride. A lot of you guys remember it from last summer. Uh, they got together once a month over at Fox Power Sports. And these guys were pulling in huge, huge groups. I mean, 
for you know it was free run a wall is trying to make sure it's a lot of fun it is fucking anarchy is what it is it is uh 350 guys on groms and supermotos terrorizing the entire city and they're having a blast doing it so their first one which is going to be may 30th they're already up to 522 respondents fucking good on you anthony walker 522 so far i'm betting by the time that comes around that dude's gonna have seven eight hundred at least I, I don't even know how the hell that they're even going to get out of that parking lot with that many people, but he's got to be feeling pretty good right now. Uh, considering my rides, this guy's eclipsing me so far. Our Midnight Run 2020 is at 387 participants so far, but I'm not really sure that's a great number to go by because I'm going to guess a lot of those are Grom guys. Oh, oh. This Saturday is Lily and John's anniversary. Happy anniversary coming up, Lily and John. So I, I really, and it's not that I have a problem with Grom guys. Dallas Lane has a hell of a guy. He works over at uh, Fox Power Sports. He's a Grom guy. But they really can't keep up at 70, 75 miles an hour rolling down the highway. And so since they can't, sometimes, and I'm not saying that Dallas is one of the guys that did this because I've talked with Dallas. He's a hell of a guy, like I said. Uh, since they can't keep up before they get on the highway, they decide they want to fuck shit up for everybody else. They'll start crisscrossing, trying to cut people off, do fucky stupid shit. So we're going to try to eliminate them right off the fucking bat. I think we're going to move our meetup spot to a highway rest stop. That's going to make it a whole lot harder for the Grom guys to show up because they'd have to roll about 25 miles north uh, down the highway to get there. So... That would be either they'd have to start really fucking early, take back roads all the way up to Rockford, and then jump on there. Uh, which, you know, some of these guys are mischievous little bastards. I wouldn't put it past them. But they are definitely out having fun. Let's put it that way. Good evening, Fred Peterson, Matt Walter. Glad to see you guys join us. And tell them I said happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. What else we got here? Timothy Tobias, Chuck Elliott joined us. And... John Underwood says, happy, happy, happy. I'm assuming talking about uh, John and Lily's upcoming impending wedding anniversary. Leslie DeLuf is with us. Hey, now. So, um, and our blessing ride is currently up to 90 participants. Now, this is really cool. Th this, to me, is really cool. And Baldwin Blessing of the Bikes is an awesome event every year. And uh, I mean, don't get me wrong. There's not really that much that's fucking cool that goes on there. Um except for meeting up with friends and people that you know we see here in the west michigan motorcycle scene and hanging out with them why and i did get some pretty kick-ass food there last year i'm, I'm, I'm not gonna I lie about that i was just gonna say you always <laughs> i am not as bad as tony whaley who somehow the minute we show up at any event that guy has already sniffed out the ice cream no, it's not ice cream for you. It's just, what, what's new? What new foods are around? Dude, I want Is there any barbecue? Tips. Barbecue. Oh, my gosh. Hell, yeah. That's, that's, I think that's my favorite thing about going to these motorcycle events is little food trucks. But uh, <laughs> Fred Peterson would love to do Baldwin this year if it's not fucking snowing. Freddie Peterson, I love you. You can go fuck yourself. We are not even going to hear that snow word uh, at the end. And no, 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 no. Baldwin Blessing will not be plagued with snow. Okay, it could totally be plagued with snow. It, it is West Michigan. I mean, what, well, last weekend we were supposed to get a whopping 12 to 17 inches of snow, and it totally missed us. I'm totally cool with that. I'm actually loving that. I hate that word, snow. But uh, this weekend we are without, there's no way we're going to dodge this weekend storm, which is uh, six to eight inches, and I could totally do without it. Wait, wait a second. I think we were supposed to have around about that much the other weekend, too. No. So, last time was supposed to be 12 to 17 inches. And we somehow only wound up with, what, an inch? Two? Uh, I was closer to three, okay. I think. So you can't say that there's no way in hell possible that we're going to miss it because, well, we just dodged a whole shit ton. All right, well, let's, let's just bring the show to a screeching halt, make it boring for a second. The difference between this week's weekend system and the last weekend system, last weekend, we were actually straddling. Oh, my God, I can smell that over here. 
It's a good chicken. What do you no. want me to say? That was really good chicken, Wobby. It smells really bad. <laughs> All right. So last weekend, the cold front, warm front, was actually straddling the Grand Rapids area. So everything north of Grand Rapids got smacked with some snow. Everything from Grand Rapids south mostly got freezing rain, ice storm type thing. And had that fluctuated by even 40 miles, we would have gotten butt fucked with snow. So we just got lucky last weekend. This weekend is it's a widespread event. We're we're just fucked. We're fucked. There's no way around it. We're gonna get hit with snow this weekend. But that's okay because we've got quad runners and maybe even a snowmobile here pretty quick. Actually, I'm gonna try to dump that goddamn snowmobile hey! off to John Gregorski. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> You know, you can have a whole bunch of bikes in here. I can have a snowmobile to go ride with Lily and John. Honey, when you look like you, you can have anything you want. Whatever. Good evening, John Gregorski. Morning, I should say. Josh Shattuck is with us. Hey, now. Freddie Peterson, laugh my ass off. Tony had ice cream in Muskegon on the way to Pentwater, and it was like 10 a.m. He finished his Bloody Mary, if I remember it correctly, and then went to get more ice cream. My kind of guy. Dude, you if you've got to get with Tony Whaley, you can you can't miss him at any of these events. He's about three and a half feet tall because I love hanging out with midgets. What? He is not three and a half feet tall. Okay, he's maybe a little taller than that. Bald as shit. Uh, you can't miss it. The sun gleams off his head like it does mine. I was I, just gonna say. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I can, I can actually, I, I can see your face here in the monitor, so I, I know when you're gonna drop some fucked up shit on me. I was gonna say yours shines just as much, buddy. It really does. Now that you bought me that head shaver, um, so yeah, you got to get with Tony Whaley. He is so much fun to hang out with at these events, and if you're into the food, he, the, the guy knows right where to go. It's it's actually amazing. Good evening, Sam Wester and Larry Welsh. And if you Welsh. need a cup of coffee, he will go back and get your coffee for I, you. Oh my God! I, Wendy Lee said we're on smell vision <laughs> Gene Gerwitz has joined us. Uh, it is it, yeah, that's almost embarrassing actually when we go out to restaurants with Tony, <laughs> and he gives zero fucks if he's out of coffee and the waitress isn't around. His ass will just he'll just go back behind the counter and start grabbing a carafe of coffee. Well, you know you can't blame him. What do you mean you can't blame him? I mean, why sit there forever with, with an empty cup of coffee in the morning? We want coffee. You, you guys are coffee nuts, aren't you? Yeah. Uh, Don't fuck with someone's coffee. Adam Williams, butt fuck by snow, laughing my ass off. Wendy Lee loves Tony. Yes, I love your brother, too. He's one of the best friends I got. I love the fact that uh, I he get is. to see him almost every day during yeah. the work season. Not me, but he is one of my BFs, too. Well, maybe you should start taking our checks into our supplier. I try, and then you, can and see then you constantly say, nope, I'm going to be around there already, so I'm going to take care of it. And I'm like, really? All right, well, you, you made the mistake of, of marrying a fucking dirty Jew, right? And we're cheap as hell, and if I can save us the gas money. Yeah, well, I'm going to start doing it once in a while anyway. And by the way, saying that I'm a dirty Jew, I, I can say that. It's not racist. I can say that because it, it, it's a thing. Uh, I, I, in fact, am, have that Jewish blood. See, Lily so I can get away with that shit. Coffee thing. You guys call me a dirty Jew, and that's fucked up. We'll throw down, but uh, I can say it all day. Um, Lily Bear Gregorski, Tony Rocks. He is. He's so much fucking fun to hang out with. Welcome, Zach Alpha Bush Zero. I'm not sure. Alpha. <laughs> oh, Alpha. I, I said it wrong. It's Zach Alpha Zero Bush. We'll just call him Zach. How's uh, Zach Bush? We'll Zach just Bush. go with that. Zach Bush. <laughs> and Kevin Coles, KJ's with us. Hey now, good to see you guys. So, what else do we have going on? There is. I, I really wish we had more shit going on. I mean, like, give us another two months, right? And like 15 minutes of the show, we'll be talking about upcoming events. And we are getting more and more. Uh, event notifications coming in. I, I'm already getting stuff for, you know, Missy Nuremberg Cancer Foundation, uh, their event that's coming up. But there's no sense in talking about it this far in advance. But you definitely don't want to miss it. And uh, if you've missed it in the past, shame on you. It really, it, it's a fucking great time. Those people are amazing. And you better come ready to party. I'll tell you that. If you don't come ready to party, the, you, you're going to be you're going to be sorry because they will get you fucked up. Yeah, they will. Build your tolerance. Yeah, you better start working on your tolerance right now. Uh, I, I, it's nothing to see. I, I'm pretty sure I ended up uh, 
so drunk and i'm walking around nothing but my boxers one year actually yeah that's true that's true at renee ritzman's benefit last year out there i was out there in my fucking boxers for a little bit so ronnie christensen says hello all hello ronnie all right what else is on the notepad wake up bitch all right, so other events that we have in planning stages still for this year. Hooligans Holiday Bash, for those of you who don't know what that is because you missed it two years ago and we ended up not being able to have it this year or last year. 2020 is going to be epic, okay? We're going to get a bunch of bands together, get that scheduled for them to come on. It's going to be all fucking weekend long. It's going to be crazy. There's going to be camping, so you don't have to leave. You can actually stay and have a great time and party and not have to worry about getting a DUI or anything silly like that. We want everybody to stay safe. There's going to be biker games there. Uh, it, it's always a great time. So, and then uh, Pent Water Run, our buddy Todd O'Hearn, is, uh, he's putting that together again, which the Pent Water Run is like, we always say the it's Catalina. The, the fucking Catalina wine mixer. You just don't want to miss that one. It's a total freebie. And I think their first year, I want to say they said they had eight participants first year, like 16 to 20 the second, 35 to 40 the third. I, this year, there's no way they're going to have less than 75, 80 people. I, I just, I, I, I don't see it. And then we're also got the Eric's ride coming up in August. We also have Aiden's ride coming up uh, early. That, that's in June if i remember correctly i say early you know we got people that watch this shit on youtube and they're not from the north and they're like what the fuck is he talking about june is early they're out riding now making me jealous as hell they send pictures of this shit hey look fucker i got to ride to work today it was 62 just so you guys know if you do that you really suck sorry i was getting cotton mouth um, and then we're also putting together a, a either we're thinking about doing a mitt and run. I don't know. I want to gauge and see what the interest is in the mitt and run. Obviously, Michigan shaped like a mish, uh, like a mitten. We want to uh, do a run all the way around the fucking mitten. I thought that'd be a lot of fun to probably take a couple of days and totally be worth it. And then an M119 tunnel of trees. So that one right there, that was a great time last year, and I'm stoked to do it again this year. So, uh, on tonight's show brought to you, we're, we're going to start plugging hooligan owned businesses. How's that? So if you have a hooligan, if you have a business and you're in the hooligans, I want you guys to get with me and, uh, we're going to, we're going to fucking plug your shit, right? Why not? Let's we'll see if we can help you guys grow. So tonight's show is brought to you by Slon 500 at 5388 South Division that is owned by hooligan members. Connie and Todd O'Hearn. <laughs> Honey, I'm just giving you a fair warning that's going to smell. It already does. <laughs> okay. Uh, they are open most days till at least 3 p.m., but it says here Sunday they're closed. Monday they're open till 8. Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday they're open till 8 p.m. Head over there to corner 54th in Division if you're on the south end. Go in, ask for Connie, let her know you're a hooligan, and you will not get a special rate at all. But you will be doing a good thing by supporting a hooligan-owned business, okay? You definitely, and, and she's good. Uh, here, I want to show you something. She cuts my hair, right? You, Put so, it back uh, on. Obviously, she does a hell of a job. Whatever you do, do not walk in and say, I want the bad ray cut. You all right back there? Can you see? I should have warned you to get your glasses on. All right, so there you go. Tonight's show brought to you by Connie, o Connie O'Hearn and Todd O'Hearn over at Salon 500. Great folks. And they're the people that put on the, uh, the pet water run every year. They put a lot of work into it, and it's a great time. So, Kyle Spear, maybe I can make it the whole way this time. I'm sure you'll be fine. I hope you... Everybody, you, you got the next two months to address any mechanical issues you may have on your bike. So you'll be good. I think you'll get them all handled. Sam Westro, what do we got here? I'm missing comments. They're just coming in so fast. Sam Westro, we need to run to the Harley Museum. You know what, Sammy, you go ahead and set that up, buddy. You getting a buzzing? Where the hell did that come from? All right, well, whatever. I don't think we're getting rid of it right now. 
Maybe it's just in the headphones. Hey, guys in the audience, you guys getting a buzzing all of a sudden in your sound. Fred Peterson. Sam and I were talking about taking a ride around the Lower Peninsula. Mitten Run. Yeah, that's what we're talking about. Jeff Hollenbeck joined us. Hey, now. Good to see you, Jeff Hollenbeck. The buzzing went away. Delilah. Lots of good stuff coming up this year. Hell yes. Well, Matthew Walter, I'm doing the east side of the state this year. Okay, Larry Welsh. You know what? I'm really glad Larry chimed in on this because Larry's putting on an old school, real midnight run. And this is something to get excited about. Uh, let's read his comment. Midnight run coming up early August, leaving Lowell at midnight, heading up to Lansing to meet up with another group, and then to St. Ignace with several stops in between. So, yeah, they're going to be doing an all-night midnight run. This shit is going to be awesome, and I actually I totally want to jump in on this if I have Larry's permission. I would absolutely love to come out and get footage of that shit. Well, the only problem is, is if that falls during Eric's ride. Uh, I don't think they have the exact date scheduled. I mean, if they don't have it on Eric's ride. Then... Oh, if they don't have it on Eric's ride, we'll totally fucking be there. Um, but yeah, so they're doing the old school midnight run, going all the way up to the Mackinac Bridge, and that, that's going to be awesome. Good on you, Larry. I'm really glad you're putting that on, buddy. Uh, I don't have the juice to do it, but I would absolutely love to come join and participate. Sam Westra, your head's so bright I got to wear shades. I love you, Sam. Fuck off. Ah, uh, Larry Welsh, more details to come on that midnight run. Todd O'Hearn, Connie says, thanks, love you guys. We love you guys, too. Fred Peterson, yes, I'm getting buzzing, and you fixed it. Shane, buzz. Yeah, I'm not sure where the hell the buzzing came from. That's really weird. But it's gone now, so I'm good with that. And I'm trying to get caught up on comments here. There's a shitload of comments. Having a good, having a good fucking video tonight, guys. Larry Welsh, that's put on by group coming out of Sturgis. Well, we wouldn't know about it if it weren't for you, Larry. So, um, you know, just let me fucking congratulate you. Thank you for that. We wouldn't have a clue. Um, I, I wouldn't anyway. And if I didn't know, then I'm not going to talk about it. And then we had something else to cover. Nothing makes a show better than fucking dead air, right? Okay, so Jen and I picked up a new toy. Well, it's not here yet, but it's coming. Theoretically, it'll be here next week. And we are getting this baby. It is a 2010 Kawasaki Concourse 1400. And it looks pretty sweet. I'm, I'm, I'm excited. No, we have no intention of keeping the son of a bitch. Uh, but I will ride it until it sells. We're going to put that baby up for five grand. It looks like it's in excellent shape. I'm really excited to go check it out. Shaft driven. 138 horsepower, 88 foot-pounds of torque, 0 to 60 in 3.1 seconds, and a quarter-mile time stock of 10.1 seconds. That baby's got a fucking scoot right there, I'll tell you what. Yay. Looks like it. What? I said yay. What do you mean yay? What is, what is yay? I don't even understand where you're going with that. Here. You're getting a fucking snowmobile out of the deal, lady. Well, you can go have fun with Lily and John on anything. Yeah, but, hey, uh, are you going to talk into that mic so I'm this so anyone else can hear you, babe? Babe, 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 babe. There we go. You're loud and clear now. That is a sexy looking bike to me. I'm sorry. Mm, it's all right. Mm, it's not a Harley. Uh, actually, I like the badass uh thick that's over here, the new one with the skull and shit on it. I think that's cool. Uh, you just like the skull and crossbones on the And on, I want to ride on that bike, so don't be trying to sell it before I get to ride on it. Baby, I got something you can ride on. I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> so, what are we at? Uh, what's our timer at? 33 minutes. 33, 34 minutes, 7 seconds. I'm about to go pee. You going to think of me when you wipe? All right, anybody else? You guys? Come on. Anybody else got anything they want to cover? Hooligan hotline is open. 616-421. I don't know what the fucking number is. I don't even know what the number is. It's in your crawl at the bottom of your screen. 9179-426-9179. Yeah. We should get Larry. Larry, if you're out there still, buddy, call in. Let's, let's hear about this midnight run put on the group out of Sturgis. He probably won't call. I can guarantee he's like, well, fuck that guy. 
That's what he's well, saying. I kind right of already now. told you about it. I mean, yeah, what more do you want out of him? I, what do I want out of Larry? I mean, he give you the details. Do you want him to paint you a picture too? I'd like him to draw me a picture. You are so mean. <laughs> get out, Larry. Get out your fucking crayons and draw me a picture, buddy. I'm too slow to get he it. He told you he'll give you more details when they come. I got something that'll come. Anyway, uh, yeah, so since we're filling just a couple more minutes here, and the longer I talk, the worse Wilby's going to have to pee, which I find funny when she starts doing the pee-pee dance. But uh, so really, I did... Really, that is not funny. I think it's fucking hilarious. It's not going to be funny when I come over there. If you pee on me, <laughs> that's going to cost me extra, right? <laughs> All right. So I, I got a chance to watch... Larry Welsh told me about a movie a couple months back, Joker. I'm sure a lot of you guys got to see this movie. I don't know. I just got to watch it for the first time. And I actually really thought this was a pretty kick-ass movie. Wait a minute. Wait, well, hold on. We're getting, we're getting fucking sidetracked here. Sam Wester. I want, I want, I want. Sam, for the low price of $5,000 at Kawasaki Concourse is all yours, buddy. John Gagorski, have a buggy here we built and used 1400 concourse engine. It tears it up. You know, being that he's in northern Indiana, I'm not sure what kind of buggy he's talking about. Did you strap that thing on an Amish fucking horse buggy, buddy? There's no telling. And I can guarantee you, John Gagorski's crazy enough to do it, too. Marty Balma's with us. Hey, now, good to see you, Marty Balma. Uh, all right, so back to joker no we got to look at some of these comments who cares about the joker i'm just filling time abj's with us hey now good to see you, abj aaron stellini matthew walter did you sell the v-strom i did i did i sold the v-strom adam says golden shower yeah golden showers <laughs> cost extra that's been my experience good evening really? craig, craig Swiss. you pay for that shit dude i don't you're the only pussy i pay for you know that oh and you are by far the most expensive and worth it. I'll just say that. So For real? No, not for real. Anybody that's met us knows better. Um, so, yeah, I, Aaron, uh, God damn it. Larry Welsh was telling me about this movie, Joker. Now, I, I don't know how many of you guys are fans of DC movies or, you know, superhero not movies. It is not a superhero movie in any way, shape, or form. Uh, I found it to be more of the kind of the construction of a fucking psychopath i mean it was a really good movie it moved a little bit slow at times but it was it was a really great movie <laughs> i don't delilah know delilah says better than a bloody mary <laughs> dude if yeah I, I, red wings right she's talking about earning your red wings which that is that is so nasty you are so <laughs> nasty Ugh. All right, hands up, guys. How many of you fuckers have earned your Red Wings? I guarantee we'll get at least... Well, they probably won't be honest about it, but I guarantee at least half of the guys watching this motherfucker have earned their Red Wings at some point or another. Really? Yeah, yeah, I guarantee it. Do you earn yours? Did I? Well, okay, to earn them, I suppose you'd have to do it on purpose. <laughs> We're getting personal here. I got them by accident. Yeah. Well, has there ever been a time in your life where Aunt Flo showed up and you didn't really know? <laughs> yeah. Okay. So long story short, uh, I'm heading south of the border. I'm making a, I'm making a run south of the border. And uh, we weren't aware that Aunt Flo had shown up. Tastes like a goddamn steely marble. It was <laughs> awful. Yeah, I'm glad I can make you laugh. Look like a fucking vampire flick. I'm not kidding, man. Wasn't down there for long either. It's like, whoa, what the fuck is going on here? Clown face. Yep, yep. And Craig Van Dyke's got a pukey face here. I'm just saying, it's happened. It's happened. I can't be the only guy in the world that this shit has ever happened to. And if any of you fuckers say it's never happened to you, you're lying. Fred you're... Peterson says, I don't kiss and tell. Yeah, okay. Hmm. Um, Kyle Spear. I'm not scared. <laughs> Adam yeah. Williams. Dead mouse. Uh, I'm not. I'm not sure what dead. Uh, dead mouse. That's like a rave band or something, right? One of those Ooh. electronic groups. But uh, yeah, I thought Joker was a pretty good flick. I had a, I had a good time watching that movie. 
Jennifer, iron Jenna, is good. For iron is good for you. <laughs> Dude. Ew. Yeah, she had a lot of iron in her diet, I'm assuming. Ew. That happened a long time ago. And that, folks, is why I no longer like to get drunk and then go south. It definitely <laughs> impairs the senses. Okay. How is it every time we do one of these shows, some fucked up shit that I did ends up coming out? <laughs> you know how many people are going to come up to me at like Blessing or Rebel Road next year and be like, hey, you eat any bloody pussy lately? <laughs> it's going to happen. Somebody's going to give you Red Wings for your, uh, for your vest. <laughs> yeah, somebody's going to go and get me a fucking patch that says Red Wings or some stupid <laughs> shit. And if, you, if they give me a patch, I have to put it on the goddamn vest. Oh, you that's guys the heard shitty that. <laughs> that's the shitty part. ABJ, not anymore. Okay, guys, we're at 40 minutes, and I, I think I've lost my appetite for the show for the evening. And uh, I don't even know how the fuck I'm going to edit this out for YouTube. This this will get me banned off. You, you know what? Actually, I don't really give a shit. We actually did get a question uh, from a member who's been with us for a couple of years. Hold on here. Craig Van Dyke, rare split finger whisker biscuits are not on the menu here. <laughs> <laughs> rare split finger whisker biscuits. <laughs> I'm gonna have to remember that one. Good evening, Rick Rocha, Mr. Rocha. I'm sorry you missed the craziest part of the fucking show. I'll tell you that already. You you're gotta rewatch it. You're gonna it. have to rewind and watch it. Kyle just ordered his rare. Hold on, I gotta read this over and over until I memorize it. Kyle Spear just ordered up his rare split finger whisker biscuits. That's <laughs> even funnier if you say it with a southern accent. Yeah, walk into a, a fucking uh, pancake house or something. Y'all got any of them rare split finger whisker biscuits? <laughs> <laughs> I'll take two orders of them fuckers. We ought to do that next time. Just walk into a fucking pancake house next time we're in Kentucky. I'll bet you them fuckers will know what we're talking about, too. <laughs> Fred Peterson, heard that get in the patch. You son of a bitch. He will, too. <laughs> Carrie Van Eiderson's with us. So, yeah, I'm going to end up getting a Red Wings badge. Thanks to you, you motherfucker. Um... <laughs> God damn it. When we start talking about that stuff, I get all I get all flustered. I lose, I lose my key. I lose my place. What, you got a diaper on? Just piss your pants. I ain't got no diaper on, bitch. <laughs> you should. Who was it? One of our one of our members went to a, a concert in a diaper last year. You remember who you remember who that was? What the hell are you talking about? I'm not kidding you. They wore a diaper to a concert so they wouldn't have to lose their place. They just pissed themselves right there in That's the crowd. That's really gross. I'm just going to tell you that right now. It happens. You're like laying your stuff in your pee. You're laying your stuff. Can you be a little more precise? <laughs> That's just gross. Like your, your JJ, your cookie is laying in pee. Your pecker is laying in pee. It's not good. <laughs> You know, I think my favorite part about doing this is cracking you the fuck up. And I can't hear anybody else laugh. But we get the little, we get the little laughy, smiley faces on the screen from time to time. But I actually get to see you laugh, and that's half of why I married you. Is I, I actually, I just love your laugh. But, um, yeah, okay. Rare split finger whisker biscuits. <laughs> Got to say it with a southern accent. God damn it. Kyle Spear, yes, I remember hearing that. He remembers hearing the fucking diaper story. I don't, and that's just gross. I don't want to hear it. Lily Barrett replying to Fred, have to get a red face with wings. No! Ha <laughs> ha, yeah! Derek Hoag says stewing. All right. I love you too, sister. So, I don't know. Got totally sidetracked there. But that's okay. We always have fun, right? Uh, love, I love doing the show with you guys. So, yeah, we recently got a question in asking. Uh, it was from a member who's been a member for from basically from the beginning. They're like, why the fuck are you even broadcasting on YouTube? So here's the reason we're going on YouTube. Now, YouTube, their audience is super fickle. To be honest with you, a lot of them are a pain in the ass. We're still searching for the sick fuckers, like in the hooligans group, that enjoy this kind of talk they enjoy this format they enjoy this kind of show and we're picking up a little bit of steam but it's going to take some time but the reason we started going on there now just i want you to know with the the subject matter that we talk about we're never going to make a penny 
off from our YouTube videos, okay? What is possible though, is a large audience. Now, why would we want a large audience? And here's the one, the one simple reason why. When it comes to people like Jen is working on raising money for this Danielle Acton, who's trying to raise money for her son to get a handicap van. If we have an audience of 10, 15, 20,000 people, okay, and we can get each one of those people to donate one fucking dollar, that just almost bought that woman a, ha a van for her handicapped child, and it cost each, each person watching one dollar. That is why we are broadcasting on YouTube. Now, I've gotten a lot of shit from uh, people in the group that say I do it because I love the attention. To those people, I would say, you can lick my sack, okay? It's nothing to do with that so much as I'm trying to get attention to the right places. So if we can use the power of that audience to help other people get the things that they need to do some good, that makes it completely worth it for me to show the world of YouTube what a fucking douchebag I actually am, okay? Now, it'll take time to grow the audience that big, but I think it'll be worth it, you know? I, I'd, if there's any way that we can reach an audience that's that big, and we can get each member or even half of them to give a dollar to some of these people that we help that makes it completely worth it so there you go uh that's why we broadcast on youtube any other smart ass questions okay good i think we are going to call it a night before Wooby urinates herself you out i'm out right, good night Wooby. All right, everybody else that's watching, whether it's on Facebook or YouTube or any of our other platforms, if you guys are lucky enough to be out riding this this week, this right now, this time of year, keep the sticky side down. For those of you here in West Michigan, stay miserable just like me. I see Ron Kelly just joined in. He's in Florida. He's fucking riding. I love you, Ron, but I'm jealous. And Jen and I may have to stop down to Daytona Bike Week. If we head down to Bike Week, we are definitely dropping in. We're going to go out for dinner with you, buddy. I would love to get down there. You're up for it? I love Florida. Okay, Craig Van Dyke says he knows the owners of Clock, Clock Mobility. He'll talk to them. And uh, Kyle Spear, you stay you, brother. Fuck the rest. That's, that's pretty much where I'm at. I do take a lot of heat on the YouTube crowd. And they can suck me. I don't really care. Uh, we... There are a lot of people on there that may be interested in what we do. I've learned that bikers are some of the most generous fucking people on earth. And that's who we're talking to. So, like I said, for those of you guys that are lucky enough to ride, keep the sticky side down. We'll see you guys back here. Will we be back Sunday? I doubt it. I'm going to be plowing my ass off all weekend with this snow. We love you guys. We'll see you soon. Thank you.